Stop recording. Hey, good evening, guys. Just figured I'd do a um, a warm start of my Steel BG55 handheld leaf blower and do some blowing with it. I have not uh, done a video with this blower in maybe a couple weeks, maybe? Um, stupid mosquitoes. Anyways, so I figured I'd do that. Um, so, um, yeah, so... Let's do it. Um, I was uh, using this for a little while. So, like I said, uh, and I figured I'd change things up. Um, you know. Um, you know, mostly I think for the last couple, for the last couple weeks, mostly I've been using the 25, 20, my Echo PB2520 handheld leaf blower. So I thought I'd change things up. Um, so, yeah, cool. Anyways, anyways, let's get blowing. The switch is on. Camera chaser, front facing, button. Really? Why isn't it starting? The switch is on. I wanted to make sure the switch was on. Uh, okay. It's not starting now. What is wrong with this machine? There we go. It also gave me a hard time uh, when I did the cold start of it. It took a long time for uh, for it to run the way it's running now, so it might need a tune-up. That's going to have to wait, though. I figure I'll do it after Christmas. You know, this blower is pretty old. As I've mentioned in other videos, my grandpa's, this was my grandpa's blower. So it does have sentimental value. And uh, then my uh, grandpa gave it to my aunt and uncle, and then my aunt and uncle gave it to me. But my uncle, I mean, my grandpa got this blower in 2005. I don't know when this blower was made, but he got it in 2005. Gosh, mosquitoes are awful, terrible. Uh. What it was doing was, um, when I st um, when I started it, it um, it would start and then stall when I would press the trigger when when I uh, did the cold start of it. It started and then it would stall. It would start and then stall when I would press the trigger. Now, if your blower is doing this. It could mean a number of things. Um, it might mean that you have uh, a clogged spark arrestor screen. It might mean, you know, might mean that something's going on with the carburetor. Uh, 
it might mean that your blower, you know, it might mean that you just have to adjust the high screw. Um, no, I'm sorry, the air mixture screw. Um, that might need an adjustment. Uh, or your blower just might need a tune-up. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know why this blower is doing this. I don't know why. It might just need a tune-up. But for the last few times, the last for the last few times when I've tried to, you know, when I've when I've done a cold start with it, it's done that. Where, uh, where you know, I'll try to start, you know, I'll start it, and you know, I press on the trigger, and it it, it bogs, and it stall, and then it stalls out. So. I don't know what's going on with it. It could be bad gas. And I forgot to mention, with your blower, it could be bad gas, too. So it could be a number of things. Shut it off and see how it starts now. See if it starts up, you know, right back up. Just curious. The 2520 and this blower pretty much have the same engine, except the 2520 is a lot more powerful. This blower blows at 140 miles per hour. The, uh, the 2520, the uh, Echo, my PB, uh, yeah, my Echo PB 2520 handheld leaf blower blows at 170 miles per hour. Oh. Um, my dad, unfortunately, did not cut the lawn today. He didn't have time. He was going to cut it Tuesday. So, uh, you guys, I'm going to do the lawn cutting video on Tuesday. And I will be doing lawn cutting videos every year. But, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do the lawn cutting video on Tuesday. Mosquitoes are terrible. My gosh, terrible. You know what I could try? Um, that you're really not supposed to do this. Whoa, I almost fell over. You're really not supposed to do this, but to make it run a little bit better, what I could do is put two cycle oil in the gas tank. Now, you're not supposed to do this. However, however a couple weeks ago, I was having, tr uh, 
my 2520 was running like shit. And I put oil in the gas tank and just like oil in the gas tank and it made it run it made it run better. So yeah, again you're not supposed to do this, but it won't hurt your engine, your two cycle engine. You're just really not supposed to do this because I guess over time I guess carbon can build up or something. Um, so you're really not supposed to do this, but I could try that, I guess. See if it makes it run any better. I don't like the way two cycle oil smells. Anyways, let me shut this off and see if we have, uh, hold on. Let me see if we have any oil, two cycle. Well, I mean, we have oil, but I don't want to use the two and a half, uh, I don't want to use the two and a half gallon oil things, oil cans, bottles. I want to use the one gallon oil cans. I think it's one gallon. Um, cause I don't, cause I don't like those. I like the two and a half hour, 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 yeah, I like the two and a half gallon oil bottles. And here is, hold on. That's one gallon, I think. Uh, anyway, Don't try this at home, folks. You're really not supposed to do what I'm about to do. Okay, cool. So I have a one gallon, I think it's one gallon oil uh, uh, thing. Um, uh, Anyway, I'll do this in another video. Camera chooser, front facing. Camera chooser, back. Camera chooser, back. Camera chooser. Stop recording. Button. See you on the next one.